If you've clicked on this video, chances are you're eager to dive into the world of mobile apps, but you're unsure of where to start. Maybe you've got countless ideas swirling around in your head, but you're unsure which ideas are worth pursuing. I know exactly how that feels because I've been there. The fear of investing time and resources into an idea that might not take off is paralyzing. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my proven method for finding and validating mobile app ideas that have potential to become profitable and sustainable businesses. I have used this exact approach to create mobile apps that generate $30,000 in monthly recurring revenue, all without writing a single line of code. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to identify app ideas that not only excite you, but also have a high chance of success in the market. I have absolutely nothing to sell you. I'm just gonna show you exactly how I find and validate app ideas. Mobile apps are the best business model to drive recurring revenue and gain financial freedom. And I can say that because I've done it myself. I'm shooting this video live from Bali, Indonesia. I just decided to travel a bit and I'm able to do that because this business model allows me to work from anywhere. And last thing I'll say is thank you so much to everyone who has been subscribing and supporting the channel. We just hit 11,000 subscribers, which is insane. It blows my mind that so many of you are liking the videos and getting value from it. Please consider subscribing. It really encourages me to keep creating videos like this and providing value for free. So with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, before we jump into things, I just want to show you that I am actually doing the numbers that I'm talking about. Here is the last 30 days. As you can see, we've done $31,000 in sales. Here's the last seven days, just below 8K. And then in the last 90, we have done close to $90,000 in sales. So this mobile app is making me around $1,000 a day. And I'm gonna show you the exact strategy that I use to find and validate this mobile app idea in the video. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna break this down into a simple four step process that literally anyone can follow. It starts off with, of course, our starting point, where to start. And then we're gonna show you how to validate the ideas. Then we're going to go over the marketing mindset. This is crucial when you're coming up with app ideas to have a marketing mindset. And then finally, how feasible is this idea? Once you kind of have an idea, how feasible is it to actually build this idea into a mobile app? Is it gonna take you a lot of time? Is it gonna take you a lot of investment? This is crucial to know before you start. So with that being said, let's jump into where we start. How do you find a mobile app idea? How do I come up with app ideas? And how do I know they're gonna be good? What I do is I analyze my day-to-day -day life. I've gotten into the habit of writing down problems that I encounter day-to-day in my everyday life. I write them down in the notes app on my phone. And this is how I came up with the idea for Puff Count, the mobile app that's doing $30,000 a month. I had a problem vaping. I ran into that problem in college. A lot of my friends had that problem. So I knew that it was gonna be a problem that was lasting. And I knew that it was a huge pain point for a lot of people. So I knew it would be marketable and I knew it would be a good product that would help people. So that's how I started. And you know, ultimately like, this was a problem, right? Vaping was a problem that a lot of people were dealing with. And I knew that it was a trending problem, right? Because vaping was going viral on social media all the time. I always saw TikToks about vaping, how bad it was. It was in the news all the time. So it was a problem. It was trending, it was viral, and I knew it would be marketable. So I knew it was a fantastic idea. So ask yourself that question. What problems do you and your friends or your family run into on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Start writing down these ideas. And then once you have them all in your notes, if there is one idea that you cannot go to sleep or wake up without thinking about, pursue that idea. Trust your intuition. That is exactly what I did. And if you're solving a problem for yourself, other people more than likely also have that problem. And if you're not so good at coming up with ideas, you can always, you know, look to social media and see what is trending. Are there any other problems that people are dealing with that are trending on social media? Ask around and, and browse social media. And then another way to find app ideas is to go to app marketplaces and see what people are already having success with. Two of these are Flippa and Acquire. And by the way, if you want to follow along in this document with me, I have the download link for this Google Doc in the description. So be sure to go download that. But let's jump in to Flippa and Acquire. Now, these are marketplaces where people are selling their mobile apps, right? And we can use these marketplaces to understand what mobile apps are making a ton of money. This is a great place to do market research because these apps are successful and we can use these to kind of generate ideas for, for our mobile apps, right? So we'll start off on Flippo. We can go to iOS apps here and then what we can do is filter by most profitable, right? And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna show us the most profitable mobile apps in here. You'll see a lot of these are super confidential because obviously they don't want you to know that they're making so much money. This is why this is such a cheat code. These apps are literally showing you exactly how much money they're making. So this is a gold mine for finding app ideas. So boom, we have this app. Uh, this app is doing $14,000 every single month. It's football betting tips. 
Great idea if you're into betting, right? Uh, AI chat here, it's doing $11,000 per month. Wordle is just doing 10K uh, per month. That's a funny one. Uh, we have a browser here, AI chat bot. Just explore this, go through the apps here, see how much they're making. Obviously filtered by most profitable because those are the ones we wanna go after. We want to come up with an app idea that has potential to make profit. And these are all making great profit. Same thing on Acquire, right? What we can do is we can go on acquire.com, we can search the marketplace for mobile apps, and then what we can do is sort by annual revenue, high to low, annual profit, high to low, whatever floats your boat. And here we have all the, like these apps are doing an insane amount of revenue. $4.8 million this mobile app is doing, right? It's a digital bank. Obviously this idea is a little bit complex, but you know, you get the, you get the idea. We can scroll through here um, and we can figure out which apps are making a ton of money. This app revolutionizes the way people commute. Good idea. Uh, remote control uh, for TVs. That's, an, that's insane. That's a pretty uh, ingenious idea. AI image generating mobile app. You get the idea. You can scroll through these, these marketplaces, understand which apps are the most profitable, and this could spark some ideas for you. So once you have this idea for your mobile app, what we can do is then validate that idea. And we can validate that idea by doing market research, understanding if it's going viral on social media, looking at sensor tower and checking the app's earnings. And we can also look at things like Google trends to understand if the organic interest for these products is going up because that's what we want. We want to buy a product that is trending upwards in terms of people being interested in it, right? We don't want to buy a dying product. So. With that being said, we can jump over to Sensor Tower here. Sensor Tower is a phenomenal tool that will show you exactly how much each app is making, right? So you can you can kind of search for app publishers here. You can kind of look around. So for example, you know, this fitness app is doing $4 million a month. This is probably a really good idea. I would study this app and, you know, kind of check it out, see what they're doing uh, to make this amount of money. We have Shut Eye, a sleep tracker that's doing two mil a month. Me Plus Daily Routine Planner is doing 800K a month. Um, you know, you can check out Sensor Tower and understand which apps are making the most money. Another beautiful way to validate your ideas is to look at the Google Trends. So for example, you know, my Quit Vaping app, as you can see, the trend is just straight up and to the right. So you know that the organic interest for this idea generally worldwide, and this is from 2004 to present, generally the worldwide interest around quitting vaping as a problem, as a product is extremely popular. Use all these to validate your ideas. Use Sensor Tower, use Flippa, use Acquire, use all all the tools at your disposal. And again, all these are free tools. You can do this for absolutely zero dollars. You can validate your idea and be more confident that this idea is going to be popular and it's worth investing your time into building a mobile app. Okay, next and probably the most important step and stick with me. I know this is taking a little bit, but I promise by the end of it, this will all make sense and you will know exactly whether to pursue your idea or not. You'll know what ideas to look for. Next is very crucial. It is starting with a marketing mindset. This is probably the sole reason that I was successful with Puff Count because I knew that my product was going to be marketable. And it's very important that your product is marketable. How are people gonna find your product? I knew that I could post on TikTok. And with a marketable product, the crazy thing is, even if your app isn't that good, but you can still market hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people to the app, you will make money. And on the flip side, if your product is amazing, let's say you spent 10 years developing a mobile app, right? But you have no idea how to market it. It doesn't matter. Your idea is worth absolutely nothing. Marketing is so crucial when thinking about your mobile app idea. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I was able to understand that my product would be marketable before I even started building, before I invested a single second, before I invested a single dollar into my product. I did market research on social media and figured out that quitting vaping was a massive issue and I knew I could market it, right? So what I did was very simple. I went on TikTok on my phone, I typed in in the search bar, quit vaping or quit nicotine or side effects of vaping, whatever it was. This took me like 10 minutes, right? I put the TikTok links into a Google Excel sheet and then I wrote down how many views each one of these had. 1.5 million views, 900,000 views, 3.9 million views, all organic. Zero dollars were spent on these videos, right? So I knew this was a marketable product. This one had 20 million views. Let's take a look at it. Quitting vaping. <laughs> like, just look at how simple anyone can make this video. Anyone can make this video. And I did make this video. I'm gonna show you right now. So here it is, 2.6 million views this video has. That's me, in case you can't <laughs> recognize me, right? But 139,000 likes. This one video drove a countless amount of downloads to, to my mobile app. Again, you know, I knew that I would be able to do this before I even started building my product. It just gave me all the confidence in the world 
to be able to build the quit vaping mobile app that is now making me $30,000. And you know, I did this a lot. I did a bunch of market research on TikTok and you should do this as well before you start building your product. And the final step to finding and validating your mobile app idea is to run through kind of this process in your brain. Is this a feasible idea? I knew that for my app, quit vaping app, it would be a feasible idea because I was just building a simple little tracker that allows people to track how many puffs they take every single day and reduce their usage over time. So I knew that getting to an MVP, a minimum viable product would be very simple because the app idea itself, the core feature of the app was fairly straightforward. And then, you know, <laughs> you can do all the planning and all the thinking in the world, but at the end of the day, you just need to go for it, right? Like I said at the beginning of the video, if there's an idea that you cannot stop thinking about, that you can't go to sleep or wake up without thinking about, that you know would help people or solve a big problem for people, just go for it. And at the end of the day, like I didn't know for sure 100% that my idea would be good. I ran through this entire process and I had a pretty good idea that my app would be successful. But at the end of the day, like I just went for it and I adapted and I overcame the challenges um, that were in my way, right? And I just kept working at it. I didn't give up. For the first three months of my product being out there, I didn't get much traction. Only when I started to really pick up on TikTok um, and get my product out there, did I, you know, find success with Puff Count. I encourage you to go for it and, you know, move fast and break things and learn as you go. And if you need any help building, validating, finding an idea for a product, whatever it may be, reach out to me on Instagram. I literally get back to everyone on Instagram. I spend a lot of time every single day going back and forth with you guys, my viewers. We can take a call together. We can go back and forth on Instagram DMs. Please reach out to me. I would love to help you. And last thing I'll say is if you got any value from this video, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me and I will be dropping so much more content just like this video. So happy building and peace.